Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Modded War. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Today's episode is going to be a little slower than the next couple of episodes. Previous episode, we had a big fight. The episode before that, we had a big fight. Tomorrow's episode, we're going to be having a big fight. And the episode after that, there's going to be another big fight as well. Big fights are happening all over the place right now. But today's video is a bit slower because we're going to investigate the other side and see what defenses they've got going on. And also, I'm going to be revealing something to you guys. A big build that I made it is crazy. It took me so long. So as requested by somebody in the comments, I'm going to tell you guys to sit back, relax, enjoy the video, get some popcorn and get ready for about 10 to 15 minutes of top-notch entertainment. So right now we are inside of the factory base which was made in order to allow us to make nukes because they still don't know about this, thankfully. So right now, as I said, we've got the bedroom in here, we've got all the chests, stuff like that. Is there anything in here yet? I'm not really sure. I think there's some chests have some guns and armor and stuff like that. But this base is very, very heavily protected. If we go over here, through here, we've got another massive storage room. There's loads, there's so much stuff over there. Like, there's just stuff thrown around everywhere. Over here, we've got the nuclear area, so this is where all the missiles are being built. As for this one here, no touchy. This is a missile of some sort, to be honest. This says no touchy. I really want to touch it, but I don't know what it does. But that's a launch pad, actually, now I think about it, so... Yeah, it's probably best if I don't touch it. Over here, we've got all of the assembly machines. We've got a big fuel thing over here. Oh, a lot of this, I don't actually understand what it is because I don't know anything about this mod pack. Jason knows it all, so I just leave it all to Jason. Then if we go up here, we pop our heads out. We can leave this area. We can now leave and head to the new big build that I made. Now, I'm going to try and speak to someone for this video. Because I have been told that we have a new ally who we've been thinking has been working for Ryan for a long, long time. Now, I'm not really sure if it's true, but we'll find out later when I actually ask them. But yeah, for now, we're going to fuel this baby up and we're going to head over towards the new area. Alright, I'm not that far away right now. This is the base. I'm actually going to just land it here. Oh god, I need to put my gear down. There we go. So... This is the base, and you can start to see some of it loading in in the background there. So, first off, this base over here, oh god. So this base right here, Evan has actually informed us that they are planning on attacking this base tomorrow. So tomorrow's episode may well be this base being attacked and us defending it. We need a secondary base over here a little bit to counteract what they have built. So obviously, as you saw in the previous episode, they had a big, big layer on the ocean that they used to shoot us down. Now, I have built something that took a long time. You can actually see it loading in right there. But they have made major, major changes to their base. So if we just fly on over here right now, you will see it start to load in. It is incredible. I could actually get shot down here now I'm thinking about this. It's probably best if I dive out. But yeah, this is their new th their thing. Th like, th oh my god, that is... It looks amazing, I'm not going to lie. Th that looks incredible. Now, I don't know what all of these signs say right here on the thing. Like, what does that say there? I, c I couldn't see it. Anyway, there's... Like, look at it. It's, this is incredible. It looks so good. So when I saw that, I was like, hmm, we need to build something to counteract that. Hence why I built this. So if I just land this plane back down, we can actually go and explore our new castle that I built that took me a long time. When I say a long time, this took me like two and a half hours, something like that. So if we start on the outside, right here we have the boat area. We've got two combat boats and three Zodiac boats. Just for easy transport over there. Say we kill everyone on there, but they're respawning behind it. We get our chance to run over there and take over what we can. Now they have all of those little slits underneath. I need to see if I can get over there. I'm going to try it today. That's why I said it could end in blood today. But yeah, over here we've got two helipads. We've got no helicopters here yet because literally we've not moved anything here. And I don't think we're going to be moving anything actually into this area. This is just like a... It's just a standoff area. So if we go up, we've got two pillars to our right. We've got all of these things here. So these all need reloading. So right here we've got the boffer's gun, which is absolutely incredible. It does so much damage. Like, it's, it's, it's a bullet, but it's also an explosive bullet, so it's really good. Here, we've got the standard Vulcan, which is just a spraying it down. It's just like the AM... It's the M16, but in a turret version. Then, right here, we've got the same things again. The M16 Vulcan, but just less powerful. Nowhere near as big. 
Then we've got the same thing replicated right here. We've got hawks. So this thing will allow us to shoot down aircrafts. So if there's a helicopter flying around, we can jump in that, like reload it, and boom, we should be able to take them down. If we head in here, we've got two UAV systems, which I worked out is perfect because that base just to there is 90 blocks away, which means we can go 20 blocks past them with the RC helicopters. RC helicopters only have a range of 116, so thankfully we can just make it over there with the remote control helicopters with these, which is perfect. If we head over here, we've got a re rearming area, so if we go in here, we've got guns, ammo, I've actually loaded some of it up, some shotgun shells, some sniper shots, and then we've got like gunpowder and redstone just so that if any of these things run out, it's going to be pretty good. To the point where we don't have to worry about traveling all the way back to the base. Now the target designators, I'm sure you know how these work. If I just use that for an example. If I jump out of here, a plane will drive past in just a second. There it is. Three of them. There's the second one. Where's the third? There it is. Three of them. And obviously, then it, it doesn't blow up, but it drops gunshots. So we're going to be able to use that against them over there, which is going to be great. We've got lookout areas here so we can fight. Pretty similar to theirs, but theirs has got slabs. So I don't know if it's going to be harder for us to shoot them or if they're even going to use that. So that is what I want to do today. I want to see if we can get in their area. Now, I don't know the best way to do it, to be honest. As you can tell, it's all unloaded. Actually, I forgot about this. If we go up here, this is just another sniper area. Oh, I felt. This is just a completely new sniping area that I thought I'd make because it's, it's cool to have a higher area. So if we're up here now, it's so much easier. We've got a good scope above. If somebody's in the turrets, you can easily get some headshots and stuff like that. It's going to be... When this when this is used, it is going to be crazy. I don't expect this to last longer than one fight, to be honest. And then the main thing is, our team is made of two Scottish people, majority English people, and then the rest are, like, just all over the world. So I thought, England and Scotland, we'll put them up there, and I expect those flags to be shot down straight away, but... England flag is there, the Scotland flag is there, Yellow, Wool and Crawford representing Scotland, me, Raven, Framed, Evan, loads of people representing England, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be good, I hope they, if they could put some flags up as well of some of their team, that'd be really cool, I think it's good to, uh, to show off who's on your team, you know, give it everyone a bit of credit, but yes, as I said, I'm gonna go down here and grab some fuel actually, oh wait, no, I've got fuel on me, never mind, right, so, if I can jump in the Zodiac boat, because I don't want to use the big combat boat, because, I'm, yeah, they do have some people online. There's not a lot, but Factions Ducks online, Hands Cores online, so they do have members online. I don't want to cause a lot of commotion if they see me, so I'm going to jump in the Zodiac boat. I'm going to refuel it. It's nice and small, does the job, but nowhere near as loud or as big as the combat boat. And I need to see if I can find a way onto this. Now, they may have ladders going into the ocean. But I'm not quite sure. We'll soon find out. Do they? Wait, what's that there? I think there is ladders. Was that ladders that I saw? It is. Okay, perfect. Right. There is a jet there. So someone has landed here recently. Okay. Right, I'm going to leave the boat here. This is my escape point. Dismount. Perfect. Right. Oh, God. So, I shouldn't even have this key on me. This is my only key. Right. I'm probably going to have to sneak around here. Because if anybody's around here, I'm probably going to get killed. So they've got a lot of these centuries right here, a lot of pillars, a lot of these right here. What's down here? Ooh. Lookout areas, chests. Anything in them? Oh, it carries on. Okay. Right, so there's nothing in the chest trap doors. Oh, right, okay. So say they're getting shot, they can just close the door. Okay, interesting. This is a very long corridor. There seems to be something in the middle. This is going to be very advantage very advantageous for them. Because they can use this to their advantage very much so. What's this? I don't wanna I don't wanna set off any booby traps. Is there anything doesn't look like it? Right, okay. Oh wow! Alright. So they have a lot. A lot of ammo. So they are most definitely ready for war right here with that. They got a Chinook ready for escape, I'm guessing. Just need to keep an eye, make sure no one's coming from anywhere. Cause I really if I get caught here, they're gonna know that we're onto something. And then, I don't think anybody knows about our castle either yet, so that's a, that's a bit of a bonus. So, is it just the same over here? Have I already been down here? Oh, no. All right, okay, we're back to that tunnel. Right, I think that tunnel right there is going to be very, very busy. So, if we can work out a point where we can find a bit of an area where find some of these open and shoot, like, the big turret that's underneath. I forgot to actually show that. We have a huge turret underneath. 
If we can shoot that in here, we could get multiple kills with that. Now, how do we get up? Obviously, oh, okay, there seems to be ladders here. This, the fights with this base and the other base are going to be incredible. I can't wait until they start. Right, so this is just the upper deck. Anything, there's nothing there. Is this like a helipad and maybe? Maybe a helipad turret. Okay, so they're waiting for the turrets to be built. Right, I get you. I think everything's coming to a sense a little bit now. No signs here. So these are probably four turrets or maybe are just four helipads. Maybe that's what they are. I've strategically put our helipads behind the towers and behind the base entirely. So if they're trying to shoot us down, they have to get through the tower first and then through the base, which is perfect. I'm guessing, yeah, another turret there. Right, now what's up here? Is there anything up here? I'm, re I'm really being careful. I don't want to get caught here. Actually, I can just, I can just look with that. Right, so... Doesn't look like there's anything suspicious up there. How do we get in? Is there a door? There is. Okay, there's no actual way up there. I'm all right. This is where the ladders will be. Okay. Right. If I've got a good, if I can have a good idea of where everything is going to be, oh god, I should be able to use this to my advantage, knowing their base. Now I haven't. Oh my god, they've done so much work here. This is crazy. I'm sure they got some sort of admin help, but look how many turrets they've just got everywhere. Now, this is where I'm going to have to start being careful because I've got a feeling that this is where I'm going to start bumping into people. Right, so thinking about it, there's one there, there's two up there, there's three up there, actually, sorry. There's one down there. So when we push, if we built a wall, maybe smored the bottom one, took down the other two with guns. Is there one in there? Oh, no, that's the same one. Just covered in stone. Right, there's going to be someone around here, I think. There's something in here. This looks like a big satellite. Is there anything in here? Is there an entrance? Surely there's got to be an entrance. What's this? Okay, right. Where's this taking me now? Oh, dear God. So this is just a large tunnel. I'm guessing straight to the other area. I can barely see on here right now, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see very well on the video. But there is just a long, long tunnel that takes him straight back. To the, I'm guessing to the island. This is an underbridge. I'll take it that it's an underbridge. Maybe if we could get some trap wires set up here. Right. That's blocked off. I don't have a pickaxe either. Okay. Right. I'm going to have to run all the way back. I'm guessing they're going to use it. They've got to surely use that in the war. If we could get some trip wire hooks. Are they in this edition? Oh, they are. Trip wire hook. Okay. If we could get some of those set up down here. Oh my god, we could get some crazy, crazy stuff. Because if we activated it to the point... Now, this is going to be a bit far-fetched. And I need to sort of stand still while I explain this. If we could do it so that that tripwire hook activates a light in our area, then we will know when they are coming through here. So then we can pull a lever of our own that will set off TNT traps underneath here. Because having it automated is pretty boring. So if we did a light system where a light lit up when they were there, then we could pull a lever so then the TNT went off. That could work very, very well. If if all goes to plan, of course. Now, if we get caught here today, this is probably not going to work because they're most likely going to change things. I'm really excited to see how the next fight goes down. As I said, they have told us that they are coming to attack us in revenge for what happened. Even though they sort of won. Even no, Actually, it was more of a mutual thing because Raven got through and actually got out alive. So, in theory, nobody actually lost or won that war. They had a lot of destruction over here, as you saw by the end. And we had a lot of destruction over at our end. So they said they're going to be attacking our campsite. I'm guessing Evan has told them. Evan has told us that they are going to be attacking our campsite next. So we'll see how it all actually plans out and if it works to plan. Because that could just be a big bluff that they've told Evan because they know that he's a spy. And then they could just go and tell somebody else. Let me know in the comments what you think it's going to be. Do you think Evan's telling the truth in his opinion? Or do you think they know about Evan and they... They think he's a spy. Let me know what you think in the comments. But for now, I'm going to head back to our little island. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm being shot. Oh, God. This is where I said it could go wrong. This is where I said it could all go wrong. Why Why is it not going? Oh, he's shooting at me. Okay, this is, this is going to end horribly, I feel like. Uh oh, no. Don't. No, 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 no. Oh, it's really damaged. Really, really damaged. Interesting. 
I got that really good then. Wow. Okay, right. Let's jump out. Let's see if I can get a good sniper shot off in it. Oh, did he jump out? He did. Or is he still in there? It looks like he's still in there. Can I get that to blow up? Come on, blow up. Blow up. Blow up. Gotta reload. He's jumping out. He's jump Oh, he's, he's back in. Oh, he wrenched it up. Okay, he's, he's fixed it. Interesting. He's off again. He's off. I could get absolutely shredded right here. Oh, there we go. Here it happens. Oh, he destroyed mine. Okay, let's grab this. Right. I'm gonna get... I'm not even gonna... I, that's gotta be duck. That's, that's definitely faction's duck. There he is. I see him. Yeah, that's duck. That's definitely duck. Oh, just out of ammo. God damn it. I'm going to steal the Zodiac boat again. Let's just jump in this. Hopefully he doesn't have a stinger. Right, let's just spin it around. Bring it into the castle. Right, there we go. Perfect. Right, let me go and grab some gunpowder and some other things. If I can just jump in one of my turrets, I should be able to tear him down. But if he jumps in one of his... Oh, God. Has he come over? Is he getting out? I don't know what's going on now. Right, I've got iron, gunpowder, and TNT. Did he break something? Did he land? I don't know what's going on here. He's not here anymore. I don't see him. Oh! Oh, dear God. Right, okay. Let me refuel, refuel, reload. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I've ripped him to shreds. I've ripped him to shreds. Where's he got? Come, come back, come back. Oh, no, cool down. No. Yes, it blew up. It blew up. Perfect. Right, he's stranded. He's stranded over there now. Right, I think he might be coming over. I'm actually just going to try and stay sturdy right here. If I move, then I'm most likely going to die. Because I've got the upper ground, the higher ground, everything right here. Right, I don't seem to see him anymore, and I have a feeling he may have gone back to our base. Which is never a good thing. Oh, he did, and he's at, he's actually blown up my, my truck as well. Okay, right. Tomorrow's episode, you will see how it goes down if this castle is used. This castle will be used in the near future. They're crazy building the background as well. But yes, we are going to be having some sort of attack against us. Apparently tomorrow you will see if Evan is telling the truth. What do you think? Do you think Evan's telling the truth? Let me know in the comments down below, but until then I will see all of you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. Peace